is a nice look. It's not bad at all. Let me take a break and we'll meet some more. And now, this is uh, the mod. Uh, with a very, it's a very English trend. Here is Ted Parrott. Ted? Let's see that outfit. Well, that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. That's okay. I might wear that. Huh? Ted, have you met everybody? Yeah. Uh, some of them I know. Lady down here said, yeah, it'd be good in a bowling alley. That's not I true. I think it looks very cute. Yeah. All no. the uh, shoes have double colors, but it looks okay. Well, the bowling shoes. Yeah. Bowling, they're bowling shoes? Yeah. That's why oh. the lady said that. I didn't know. Ted, what is mod? It look like that um, in bowling alley? Oh, boy, another hard word to describe. It's pretty much just a uh, commitment to style with the 60s soul music. But this is out of England. It originally, yeah, the actual word mod came out of England, but the, uh, the music came straight from America. You seem a great deal more conservative than rockabilly and punk, so you don't mix? Uh, my, well, my taste in music, and I have a lot of friends, as a matter of fact, I don't know if Ed remembers me or not, but I've known Ed for a while. Yeah. Um, they generally mix. There's, when you get newer people into scenes, you sometimes have people who use them as an excuse for violence, but pretty well, people who are, who are into scenes for a long time, you don't have any trouble. I like, I, I like a lot of punk, I like a lot of rockabilly music, so. Yeah. Do you all meet other than right on the street in Melrose or um, Venice Boardwalk? Up or? until recently, there was a mod club right in Hollywood by the Pacific Theater, but it just unfortunately got closed down. We've lost three of the... Uh, Three clubs that we've had in LA have been closed consecutively. We keep having to move to clubs because it's Why, why, thing. darling? What um, was the reason? The last one was closed because it was a fire hazard. And no. um, the uh, club before that was closed because complaints from neighbors, because the bikes are when you have 100 scooters zooming around. It sounds like 10,000 angry mosquitoes attacking your house. So, uh, <laughs> the scooter is very much a part of the whole scene. Yeah, it's, it's a status symbol. It's very much a status Were you symbol. into other scenes before this? Uh, um, I was a punk about three years ago for a short time, and I... What made you I change? Was, when I was into it, what happened is I think that the same thing that's happening to, to Maude now, as it gets big, what happens is a lot of people get into it, and you get kind of a um, dilution of the original, like the original ideas behind it. Like I said, a lot of people will use things as, a, as, a, as an excuse for, for violence, and it's almost becoming like, like a gang, a, a gang type violence thing. Yeah. I don't really like it. And when I was into punk, for the short time I was into it, I saw it really becoming, like when I was into it the first time, it, like people weren't into it for what I could see as good reasons. They were into it as an excuse just to go out and, and be bullies and as an excuse to violence. And I did not, I didn't like that very much. Now, Ed and Sebastian, are you into violence? No. Every not day. At all. Huh? No. Every day, Ed? No. No. That's a nice guy. Have you ever anticipated where you'll be when, say, just pick an age, 35? Um, hopefully an animator or a commercial artist, but a I don't know. Surgeon? Brain surgeon? A brain That's surgeon. Good. But <laughs> then will you become like everybody else, or will you still be a part of the scene? Um, I think it's had a big influence on me because when you're, like, when I was, when I first got into the mod scene, you learn a you learn a lot, like when you hang around on the streets and stuff, and you you see a lot of things, and it makes you aware of things on a very human level. Whereas, because I live in the San Fernando Valley, and it's very pa it's very fast paced, and it's like very plasticky, and mm -hmm. people tend to, if something bad happens, they turn their backs and ignore it. And I think that by being in this, I've learned to to work along with other people a lot better, to understand people a lot better. Um, it makes you, I just think it makes you a lot more aware of things on a human level, like on a street level, and basic human needs and helping people out and stuff that I think other, if I hadn't been into it, I wouldn't really have got to experience that. Mm -hmm. What do you do? What do you do? You go to school? Uh, I'm taking two night classes. I just started college. And other than that, I'm professionally unemployed because I lost my job a couple of weeks ago. Professionally unemployed? Yeah. Okay. What was your job? I worked at, I, am I allowed to say company names on television? But what, what kind mm -hmm. of a business? Well, I, I was a mailroom clerk oh, that's at good. a company in the Valley, and I also had a mailroom job in Los Angeles before. Okay, well, 
Now we have on uh, two young women who are into heavy metal. This is uh, Sunshine and Pauline Collins. They sure are. Now, is this dress that's up? That's not heavy metal. I've got millions of these. Uh, <laughs> no, no, that's heavy. Oh, well, that is heavy. Yeah. Yeah, that's Lumber City. What, darling? Lumber City. Lumber City. Oh, it's wood? No, no, no. No. <laughs> Lumber City, that's where you buy your heavy chains. I am not into chains. Huh? She goes to Van Cleef. They have hardware, right. <laughs> Explain, if you will, uh, first of all, you don't go to work like that. No. Not quite uh, this dressed up. Sometimes we wear like jeans and leather and stuff. Yeah, but this is for party time. Yeah, this is for nighttime. Right. Now, do heavy metal and punk mix? Not very well, usually. <laughs> it depends on everybody's attitudes. Yeah. Why, why, what would go wrong? It would really depend on the people. I've known punks that are nice. We spent some time talking. Yeah. These people are nice. Yeah. But, um, at our club sometimes when we have a punk show after a heavy metal show, it gets... People fight and stuff sometimes. Huh. Whoever wears the most metal wins. <laughs> I'm not sure what the significance of the metal is. It's a weapon. Of heavy metal? No, yeah. it's not a weapon. <laughs> it's got beat, rhythm, and uh, heavy guitar. Uh huh. Long hair. Right. And do you have clubs where heavy metal just get together? Yeah, mm -hmm. Troubadour, Country Club. What kind of music do you listen to? I listen to all kinds. I don't listen to heavy metal. I listen to country. Mm -hmm. Blues, For jazz. example, what would your favorite song be? Um, Beyond the Realms of Death by Jesus Priest. Mm -hmm. And yours is Sunshine? Oh, I have so many. I like Twisted Sister, Wasp, Hellion. Some of the local bands are coming up with some Who good stuff. Who was it backstage that said their favorite song was Nat King Cole's Stardust? Uh -huh. Was it you, Sebastian? Uh-huh. Huh. <laughs> That's very interesting. <laughs> Sunshine, you have a daughter? I have a son. A son? How mm -hmm. old? He's almost 10. But he's also loves. But this is Oh, there he is. He's on camera. Like that. Well, he's is into he? heavy metal. Look at him. Where is he? I can't see him. Ed, Second Ed generation heavy metal. Oh, is he cute? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh. oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Huh. He's adorable. <laughs> and he likes the whole, the look? Yeah. Yeah. He loves heavy metal. He loves the music. If you like the music, you have to get to dress like this? No. You don't have That's to. That's what I thought. Like lots of people wear jeans and denim jeans. You've got to like face it. it, the big designers are stealing the stuff right the off these kids' backs. The they do. Yes, they yes, are. I haven't seen one big designer look oh, yes, like this. Yes, they do. Uh, Ava, some designers uh, are now incorporating the most extreme parts of these various uh, outfits. Uh, outfits. I keep wanting to say costumes, man. But they are. You're right. Thank you. And um, they've incorporated them, but in a couturier fashion. Well, I can't imagine who would I've put them I've seen some on. of them. Actually, the dress you're wearing is pretty heavy metal. Our <laughs> 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 right, thanks to all of you. We'll be right back after this message. That's heavy metal. It's gold. Coming up, Nina Blanchard presents two top models with a look at the street fashions of Paris. Only half a cup. But you love fresh brewed coffee. 